At the start of movie, it is shown that a company is eradicating Amazon rainforest. As a result, the native tribe's houses are also destroying. Afterward, a college student Justine appears. Her classmate Alejandro is also shown there. Alejandro sends his friend to Justine. That friend invites Justine in an evening meeting, giving a pamphlet. Afterward, it is appeared that Justine is with her father at lunch. Here it is known that Justin's father is a lawyer in UN. Justine goes to her friend's meeting at night. The meeting's discussion topic was to save the Amazon rainforests. Alejandro informs them that a company is deforesting those forests to discover the petroleum. <laughs> So the native tribe's houses are also destroying there. Justine says, will we have to starve in the forest to save their houses? Alejandro feels ill on her words. And he expels her in fury. Next day, Justine apologizes to Alejandro in the college. Alejandro says to Justine, we should help them because they deserve it. The plan is also made to protect the forest. They knew that the company that is clearing the forest must have an army. Above all, the most problematic thing is that there is a signal issue. So they make a plan, keeping the whole scenario in front of them? Their plan was to visit there before a day. Going there, they will attain the illegal access of signals. After that, they will play the live news. Doing so, their video will go viral. And the people will stand for their support. Then company will have to cease their work unwillingly. All friends agree with Alejandra's plan. Justin accompanies them, excusing her father of trip. Reaching the airport, they encounter a boy. He was the same who is the commander of this plan making. Otherwise, he was collecting the funds from them. It means, he was taking the responsibility for their expenses. Justine was shocked thinking, why is he alone bearing the expenses of everyone? Then they go in their small plane, embarking it. Going ahead, they hire a rickshaw and reach the hotel. Shortly after, they sail in the boat and reach their destination. Reaching there, they wear a uniform. Alejandra's friend hands over the chains of locks to everyone. So they lock themselves with that company bulldozers and trees. But Justine's lock was out of order because it was not locking. They all get busy in protesting while wearing the masks. Meanwhile, the security force of that company had also approached there. And Alejandra was filming it as live news. Security service tries to arrest them. But how can they be caught? They were locked. But a security man captures Justine because her lock was out of order and did not work. That security man begins to shoot Justine, unmasking her. Justine asks for help from Alejandro but of no use. Rather, he says that her father is lawyer in UN so kill her. Then let's see what will happen with you. Justine becomes powerless and security leader receives a call for someone. Consequently, all security men placed the gun on the ground this call had been received due to Justine and they were also survived because of her. Reaching there, police arrest them while taking. But the leader of group releases them, paying off the money. Then they proceed, sitting in the airplane. They are rejoiced in the airplane thinking they are victorious. So they are pleasing with their triumph. Because their identity had gone viral throughout the world. They had become the central part of the country. And they were the integral news of social media. But Justine was only saddened because she had been misused by them for the sake of their lives by them. But the happiness does not stay for a long time. There was something wrong in the airplane. At the first sight, being crashed, that airplane drops into the forest. Many people had lost their lives because of this accident. Airplane leader was also in the list of dead people. There were only a few survivors left there. One of the survivors is searching for his GPS phone. So that he may call someone for help while sending news. Immediately, they hear the sounds of someone. Hearing the sound, Alejandra's friend moves ahead. Thinking it, there is someone who will help them. But an arrow is shot on her neck directly. Alejandro tries to rescue her but another arrow takes her life which is shot on the forehead. It was committed by the wild natives. They had knocked everyone into unconsciousness. But he does not lose his consciousness who was searching for GPS phone. And he gets the GPS phone. He is also knocked out before using the GPS. Those wild natives were taking them to their village in their boats. All villagers were coated with red paint by them. And those wild natives were touching those friends. They were entrapped badly by those wild natives. 
They were entrapped badly enough that they were finding hard to breathe. Moving forward, they estimate, these wild natives are very adverse. Because they were hanging dead bodies in the surroundings. They are weeping as being entrapped in this trouble. They beg for their life from those wild natives. But there was no one in this vast and savage forest for their help. They go ahead and their female chief approaches there. She had coated her body with a yellow paint. That female chief says something to them in her language, while checking them. They are not understanding it. Afterwards, they are caged. Alejandro had a phone but of no avail. Because there were no signals. They notice that one of their friends is missing from there. And those wild natives were behaving strangely with that friend. They make that friend drink a liquid. And he is laid down at a place after taking. As female chief comes there and shows his eyeball, pulling it out. All wild natives are filled with joy, witnessing her action. She also pulls out the second eyeball later. At last, she eats his tongue, cutting it. After that, their main chief dismembers his hands and feet which is so pathetic. He was still alive. Then they behead him. They drink the blood coming out of it after collecting. Here it is revealed that these wild natives were cannibals. Some wild women cook his body parts after cutting. All friends were observing their friend being cooked in front of their eyes. They were also smelling him. They all eat his body parts after cooking. That female chief had chosen their friend because it was looking tasty as being bulky. They are arguing at night that neither they come here to stop the company nor they become the victim. Alejandro says that we did not stop any company. It has been committed according to a company's plan. Alejandro was egocentric who wanted to make his name throughout the world. And Alejandro had succeeded in his plan. Alejandro tells that Anther Company will be coming, driving their bulldozers. But the time of three days will be required for them to come here. But all were being upset thinking that cannibals will end them within three days. Alejandro says to them, our friend is bulky and he can quench their appetite for three days. Hearing it, their friends are infuriated. That how egocentric person he is. While he is hidden under the cover of gentlemanship before people. Above all, it was also the part of plan to bring Justine there. Because Alejandro was aware that her father is the member of UN. What will be the better protection for them than Justine? Next morning, some cannibal kids awaken them. Justin plays the flute for a kid which was stuck with her necklace. Meanwhile, their main chief also reaches there. And he leaves, taking those girls. And the girls are presented before the female chief. That female chief checks who was unwedded among those three girls. And she confirms that she is Justine who was unwedded. And remaining two girls are sent back. A survivor girl catches the sight of a boat. Those wild natives take Justine while knocking her out. Justin's friend was wanting to escape, but how could she escape? Because their cannibal watchman was guarding there. Then they hit upon an idea, Alejandra's friend throws the cell phone at a great distance, after playing a ringtone. Hearing that sound, cannibal watchman leaves to check. Justine's friend flees from there, getting a chance. She hides in a boat while running from there hurriedly. They again cage Justin in a cage a few times later. Justine was coated with paint. But Justine could not refresh her memory what has been done with her. Then those friends are dining together. Justin's friend notices that there is the piece of someone's skin in the plate. And this piece of skin belongs to another female friend. Because there was a tattoo on the skin which was related to their friend, those cannibal kids were also covering them with that friend's skin. She understands that their friend is no more now. And they are eating their friend. And she breaks that pot without any consideration. And she cuts her throat with a broken part of the pot. Because she preferred suicide rather than to be the food of cannibal. That friend of them was also dead so those cannibals visit was sure there. One of their friends hits upon an idea. He inserts a plant into his friend's mouth that tranquilizes. So the cannibals may be intoxicated while eating his body. Those wild natives take him away with them, coming there. They are really intoxicated by that plant when they eat him after cooking. Mostly wild natives lose their consciousness after being intoxicated to a great extent. Finding that opportune time, they begin to escape from there. But Alejandro knocks one of his friends out while stopping him. So he may be secured. Justine and a male friend begin to run from there. Waking up, Alejandro notices two seated cannibals in front of him. And those cannibals were still in intoxication. He tries to deceive them while speaking. But they were not silly so begin to chew him alive. 
Somehow, he starts running from there. But all wild natives had chased him. There was contrary effect of the intoxication on them. Catching him, all cannibals begin to eat him alive. They eat all his skin tearing it up while rushing. They were feeling excitement of doing so. On the other side, Justin and male survivor had reached a river. And they observe the smoke of the crashing of the airplane and move forward. Justin has fallen down into a river but her friend rescues her successfully. Going ahead, they succeed to reach the airplane. Those wild native had built up that place like a shrine. Because dead bodies had been hanged there. Suddenly, they hear the ringtone. Justin takes that cell phone that those cannibals arrived there. They knock both of them out again. Waking up, Justin notices that she has been adorned for a ritual. Male friend's hands and feet were breaking off while tying at a place. Afterward, they smear something on his body and many ants begin to eat him after covering his body. Being helpless, he could not act except shouting. Female chief is heading Justine. Then their wild soldier brings the head of someone there. At the same time, another company's bulldozer had approached there. And the whole tribe leaves to fight those people. Justine moves to save her tied friend. He says to Justine, kill me and take my soul and rest. But Justine does not kill him. But that cannibal kid puts him into death. Justine starts running while taking out the phone from her friend's pocket. Justine encounters Alejandro at a place who begs her help. But Justine does not help him. And she escapes, leaving him there. A cannibal little girl notices Justine. And she goes to capture Justine with her father. That cannibal little boy helps Justine, showing the leading way. Immediately, cannibal little girl also comes there but they let Justine go. Because there was a wild animal seated before them, they think, this wild animal will take her life. Getting no harm from that animal, Justine moves ahead. While heading, she observes that security service is killing that cannibal tribe. Showing the phone to them, she tries to indicate that she is a survivor. And they all cease and take Justine into a helicopter. And Justine is asked, have your any other friend survived? Justine tells, no. There is no more survivor than me. That helicopter flies carrying Justine. Afterward, Justine tells the government officers, her all friends have been dead in a plane crash. Those tribesmen did not harm her. Rather, they helped Justin to come there. She was telling a lie to stop the clearing of forest. In fact they were cannibals. And she was telling them perfectly. This movie ends here.